we've been challenged by Mumsnet and Lidl to test out some of their Christmas range this year. Now I have never ever ever stepped foot in a Lidl so it's a brand new experience for me. Um, I'm hoping to get their God of Honor lamb, that looks really nice. But let's go inside and see what they've got. So we found the section that we're looking for. Very tempted by this three game roast, but I think I'm going to go for Lamb Guard of Honor. Could you open it? Looks good. This one is $12.99. We've also got a nice range of seafood. I'm thinking about getting that beef welling in, but those scallops do look nice as well. We're going to go for these roast potatoes with goose fat. They are only £1.29. I'm loving the look of this pulled venison cracker. Um, it's £7.99. It's not on our list, but I think we might just get it anyway because it looks really nice. Red currant and balsamic sauce. So Steve has picked out this Stilton. It's only £3.79. He loves a bit of Stilton. <laughs> Steve is going off list here and he has spied some coffee beans. Obviously he's a coffee addict now. How much are they? 3.49. Yeah, put them in the basket. I actually really like the packaging of these. They look lovely and I think they'd make a nice gift. So this is what we ended up buying. We got the Lamb Guard of Honor the two beef wellingtons which are with a cabernet sauvignon red wine and port jus we've got these duchess potatoes which i've never had duchess potatoes before so that'd be interesting we've got some deluxe roast potatoes in goose fat we've got just some regular mixed vegetables and this long close blue stilton in this nice ceramic pot So we're cooking this lamb guard of honor now. It comes like this and it takes an hour and 15, is that right? Yeah. And what's this? The sauce. It's the sauce. Hour and 15 minutes in the oven. So we've just got the lamb out of the oven. Looks nice. We've just got to leave it to rest for 5 to 10 minutes. Yep. Veg is on the hob. You get this lovely, I think it's a red currant, is that right? Really cool. Ruby port sauce, which smells just like mulled wine, it looks delicious. And we're rocking our Christmas plates. Chief Grover Steve is going to carve the lamb. So on this piece, you get is it called a leg cutlet? Chop. Chop. Ooh, it looks good. Steve's just made his own yoshas. These aren't part of the little range. But these roast potatoes are. So these have been basted in goose fat. They look lovely. Here is our finished meal all plated up. It looks absolutely delicious. We're just waiting for the sauce. All sitting at the table now, yep. digging in. Straight from the oven, the beef wellington. tried all of the food that we bought at Lidl now and it was a bit of a mixed bag but it was mostly very good and um, the thing that I would definitely recommend is the Lamb Guard of Honour it was just a real sure stop back and really imagine seeing it on your Christmas Day table um, served all of us just fine and I can't believe it was only 12 99 and it was so easy to cook as well 
I would also recommend the coffee beans. They are really luxuriously packaged and I can't believe they are only £3.49. And the Stilton cheese was just as good as any other Stilton Steve's had before and again a bargain at £3.49. The roast potatoes are something that I personally wouldn't buy again but that's just because life's too short not to make homemade roast potatoes I don't think. But if frozen potatoes are your bag, I mean give them a go, they're only £1.29. I thought the Duchess potatoes were nicer um, and at 99 pence I'll definitely reorder those. The beef wellington, they were nice but the beef wasn't succulent as described. The pastry though was absolutely spot on and the red wine jus that it was served with was really rich and flavoursome. So yeah, I probably would have that again but maybe not on Christmas Day. So overall, well, we're impressed with Lidl. I definitely want to head back and try some of their other Christmas treats. Their desserts look absolutely amazing, as did the things like the fresh breads and the Christmas crackers. So yep, we'll definitely pop back next week. If you'd like to read more, you can click on our blog post. I'll leave the link in the comments below. Thank you.